So now we're going to be taking a look at the FO, F1, F2, and F3 sections. These are interesting sections. Uh, not all of them actually are in the registry. Um, so FO section is loaded from INI files, system INI and winini.ini. And so the FO entry corresponds to the shell equals statement, which is a statement that designates which program is loaded as a shell for the desktop. And that one corresponds to system INI. So if for if the entry in hijack this read FO system.ini shell equals explorer.exe, which it should be, and then maybe in a space, uh, xyz.exe, uh, that would be a problem because xyz.exe would be loading as a shell. And so any program listed after the shell statement will be loaded when Windows starts and it will be acting as the default shell. So XYZ would be acting as a default shell and if they acted as a valid shell but they would be you know it would be a bad a bad thing because they could do anything and they could really have a have a problem with the computer. Um, F1 entries correspond to run and load values which is under win.ini which is in Windows directory and this will sp again specify if something will start when Windows starts so there's one there are two types of F1 entries one is load and one is run so anything listed after those that is bad will load on startup F3 and F F2 and F3 entries are registry entries these are um, located, these are basically FO and F1 entries that are listed in the registry to the most, for the most part. So if we open up RegEdit again, oops, right there, we will be able to notice if we browse to H key local machine software Microsoft uh, Windows NT Windows NT current version and then we doing win logon not Windows and then under win logon we have user in it and this will specify what is running and um, then we will this will what is specified to run with user in it and then we have shell what is specified to run a shell which is explorer to exe so these are values again and if anything is put after these like a comma whatever bad program uh, xyz.exe that needs to be fixed and that's easy to edit by either going to the registry and right clicking modify and you just remove that extra entry on the end and you will have stopped that from loading which is which is easy enough and then F3 entries are located under the users folder so if we go up 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 to here and look under hkey current user then go and visit software microsoft windows nt current version Windows 
and then under here you have load and I don't have run so if I if there was something listed under here it would load um, but because this is not a real active machine or anything I don't have all that stuff so it's not like we can see much of that anyway um, so those are pretty easy to fix with hijack this and again it's very simple but that little tweak those little tweaks that malware uh, uses on the system are quite dangerous because they can really screw up the whole boot process they can screw up the whole way the system loads and looks and so a lot of that stuff is quite bad and needs to be fixed alright so I'm going to continue